These are high elbow rows with external rotation thrown in as well. So it requires quite a bit of shoulder stability uh, in the angle that this is being done and it'll put a lot of strength in all the regions of your shoulder blades. So the first part is you're pulling your shoulder blades together. So you're pinching them together, but the sense of the shoulder blades when they pinch together, sliding down the opposite back pocket. So it's sliding down the opposite back pocket, other shoulder sliding in the opposite back pocket there. So there's this sense of pull back here. So we need that in the exercise. So I do that first, pull that back, then I open out. So my arms are parallel to the floor and level with my shoulders. Then I open out this way. Slowly bring that back, let that come forward, pull the shoulder blades back together, open out to the side, and pivot 90 degrees here. About this speed for the uh, contraction part, and also the letting off part as well, about that speed. So when I move my arms here, I'm opening out, so my elbow is directly to the side of me, so I'm not pulling back behind me like this, or not enough. Elbows go directly beside me, beside my uh, sides. And then I pivot as if I'm my elbow is resting on a table, all I can do is just pivot this way. So you want this pivot, I need to pivot so that your arm is pointing straight up to the, to the roof. And in this pivot point, it's about 90 degree here. So from the side, Shoulder blades pull back together, open this out so the elbows both point directly to the side, not too far back, and then I pivot here and slowly go back. A couple of problems can happen with this one. One is that you don't pull your shoulder blades together first, and you just go, the shoulder blades not engage and it's just the arms that won't get the right thing. The shoulder blades pull back first. We don't want this to be lower than shoulder height, so I'm not pulling out just to here, I want to be this height here. And I want also the arms when I pull back, not too far back. What if you pull too far back, what it tends to do is make the shoulder as you do the next bit, make it pop up like this. That's what we don't want at all. So the shoulders stay pulled back and down. So no matter what I'm doing with my arms, the shoulders have a sense of being pulled back and down and don't pivot like this one little bit. And working this three sets to fatigue, and about, for most people, about eight to 12 reps will make fatigue happen.